Hey guys! Okay, let's just say that augmented reality in education becoming more and more present and you better learn about it and realize that change AR may bring your classroom and lesson. Based on tech target, augmented reality is the integration of digital information with live video or the user's environment in real time. Okay, based on research paper that I study which title Augmented Reality Based Video Modeling Storybook of Nonverbal Facial Cues for Children with Autism Spectrum Disorder, which is ASD, I found an evidence which said AR attracts the attention of children with ASD and encourages them to maintain their focus on nonverbal. Okay. In this video, I will show you teachers' experience in teaching autism children using augmented reality. Alright guys, let us watch the video. We started using Letters Alive at the beginning of this year in August and the effect that it's had for my kids uh, is exponential. It's for lion. Look. Ooh, that's lion. I can definitely attribute our kids' learning of reading, the beginning stages of reading, to using this program. Um, letters Alive has has really taken kids, I think, to a different level and learning those letters and, and words. And I'm certain even kids that are older could take it to a different level. But for us, I mean, we see kids remembering letters using letters, oh, using the sounds and the names and making connections like they never have before. X-ray fix. X-ray Yeah, it's an X-ray fix. Oh, look at all the X-ray fish. They're small, aren't they? They're not very big. Um, we actually had a parent express to one of our teachers that these are some of the first times okay. that yeah. they heard their child speak was when they were using Letters Alive. And I mean, that, that says enough for right there just to say that kids are making connections for the first time and kids are engaged. Thank you. One of my favorite things is to see um, some of our special ed, uh, special ed and our special needs kids come and participate with Letters Alive. Ready? Uh, they really, at, at many times, it's it may be hard to get their attention, but the most challenging part is really keeping their attention. I can keep their attention and the teachers can keep their attention much longer than we could if we were just showing them a letter, a flashcard. This isn't your A Apple type of program anymore. The bear comes out at you and the kids just are, are really crazy about it and they're saying the sounds. <laughs> okay, let's ask it. He does say yes. The rooster swim. Can the rooster swim, Luke? It's an elephant. The elephant. What is he eating? We have a student who doesn't really use language at all. And the first time we put Letters Alive in, it was like magic. He was able to hold a lion, I think it was, in his hand. And uh, he actually said, wow. And for that, for a student to not have the ability to say words and then finally be able to speak is amazing. All right, guys, from previously video, we can conclude that teachers at Lawson Early Childhood Center, McKinney, Texas, using AR to improve their autism students in interaction with words and pictures. Okay, based on research I made, what I understand about ASD, autism spectrum disorders, are characterized by a reduced ability to understand the emotions of other people. 
Increasing evidence indicates that children with ASD might not recognize or understand crucial nonverbal behaviors, which likely causes them to ignore nonverbal gestures and social cues, like facial expressions, that usually aid social interaction, right? Okay, for example, when we use an augmented reality based video modeling storybook to strengthen and attract the attention of children with ASD to nonverbal social cues because they have difficulty adjusting and switching their attentional focus. Okay, in this research paper, AR has multiple functions. It extends the social features of the story, but it also restricts attention to the most important parts of the videos. Now, I will show you the example of AR tools from Assembler apps. This is an ebook which I purchased from the apps which cost RM3 ringgit per each. The first book is Diving in an Underwater World and the second book is Fascinating World of Birds. Both of these books produce AR which we only need to scan the pages and the AR will be appear. It is interesting, right? But today, I will show you how AR works. Either we use smart TV or smartphone to appear the AR. So, let us watch the AR view that I have created from smart TV. September we met, I can tell by a smile. You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while. Yeah, you were impressed, couldn't leave me alone. Text me every time that you pick up the phone. And I had control in the driver's seat, but my hands are slipping off the wheel. Now the table. Hey guys, now I will show you how we can view AR from our smartphone. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Conclusion is AR technology met the way teaching children with ASD and the way they learn interesting and fun for them, and therefore more efficacious than the traditional methods being used. Furthermore, based on this research paper, researcher found that the intervention system was effective for helping the six autism participants select and maintain their focus on dynamic visual videos. AR triggered the children's learning incentive, encouraged them to observe nonverbal social signals, and improve their social skills. Thus, in future, AR training materials for ASD need to be more complete and more reflective of real life. Okay, that's all from me. I hope you are enjoy listening to my view and summary of the research paper that I have studied. That's all. Thank you. See you again, guys.